In part A, prove that sine x plus cos x squared minus 1 equals sine 2x. Rewrite the statement and draw a line. Expand. Reorder the terms. Sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. This gives us 2 sine x cos x. This condenses to sine 2x. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof. In part b, prove that 1 half sine 2x over 5 equals sine x over 5 times cos x over 5. Rewrite this statement and draw a line. Rewrite 2x over 5 as 2 times x over 5. Expand using the double angle sine identity. The 2's cancel, giving us sine x over 5 times cos x over 5. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof. In part c, prove that cos squared x minus pi over 2 equals sine squared x. Rewrite this statement and draw a line. Expand using the cosine difference identity. Don't forget the expansion is still being squared. Find the exact values of the trigonometric ratios. This becomes sine x squared. This can also be written as sine squared x. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof. In part d, prove that sine 3x equals 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. Rewrite the statement and draw a line. Write 3x as 2x plus x. Expand using the sine sum identity. Now expand sine 2x using the double angle sine identity and expand cos 2x using the double angle cosine identity. Multiply sine x through the brackets. Collect like terms. Cos squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Multiply 3 sine x through the brackets. Collect like terms to get 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. The left side equals the right side, completing the proof.